It was a busy morning for the Victoria Foundation as more than 300 representatives from community groups, business, government, education, and nonprofit organizations gathered for the release of the 10th annual Vital Signs Report. Dana Hutchings is taking a look at that in tonight's checkpoint. Dana? Stacey, the report is an in depth survey measuring the strengths and assessing the challenges for those living in Greater Victoria. Over the past decade, Vital Signs has been looking at what's working and what is not. And it's clear the high cost of where we live is an issue. For the seventh year in a row, the cost of living is the number one issue. In fact, the report found that 23% of those living here could not pay their bills on time at least once in the past year. And 26% feel high or overwhelming stress associated with personal finance. It's a real challenge um, for everyone as we see wages and, and income essentially being relatively stagnant, um, yet costs going up. If you look at food security right now, 30% um, of food bank users are children. So once that becomes, you know, in the public awareness, that's what causes things to happen, people to ask questions. But in the 10th Vital Signs report, there's also another trend emerging, an increasing concern about transportation. One of the things that we're seeing in that transportation piece is an expectation of more action than we're getting. You know, the Blue Bridge is a good example of something that's not much of an improvement really to transportation. It's just replacement of aging infrastructure. Now, tonight we focused on the fact that 50% of people voted the cost of living in the Vital Signs Report as the number one issue. Is it your number one? Lots of discussion on social media. From Facebook, Cynthia posts, yes, I do. Both my daughters have moved up north due to high rents here, coupled with low wages. Ken tweets, yes, failure of wages, pensions, and social programs to keep up with the cost of living is an issue, especially for people on fixed incomes. Raina tweets, agreed, families have to get creative. And the results of our web poll, 67% agree the cost of living is the number one issue, 33% do not. And for more on the Vital Signs Report, V. Cooper will have an in-depth feature on the findings Sunday on Check News at 5. And that's tonight's Checkpoint.